Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to talk a little about using font size to um, make a responsive graphic. Um, so this graphic right here um, changes size depending on the size of its uh, the window that it's in. First I want to talk a little about M and REM and the difference between them. So REMs are uh, relative to the root, and M's are relative to their parent. So relative to the root, what I mean by that is that when I set something in REM, it looks at the font size that's set uh, in HTML. You can also actually set the font size by uh, using root too, but you can use uh, HTML also. So by default, uh, the font size is 16 pixels. So right now, one rem equals 16 pixels. But if you uh, go to HTML and you change the font size to something like 20 pixels, one rem equals 20 pixels. So you can change that to like 30 or, or 10, uh, make it smaller. So now one rem equals 10 pixels. Um, M looks at its parent element to uh, see if there's a font size set there first. So over here I have a div uh, with two paragraphs in it. Um, and the first paragraph is set with rem and the second one is set with m. So if I change the font size um, of its parent element, to say 30 pixels. 1m equals 30 pixels. 1rem still looking at the root, which is uh, 16 pixels by default. So, because it's looking at its parent element first, and the parent, uh, parent element actually does have its font set as something, it references that font size instead. So, you know, I could go to the root and I could change that to 10 pixels and one rem now equals 10 pixels, and the font size for one, one m is still 30 pixels, because that's what it's set to here. Um, up top, um, it's not actually a parent of this div right here that has the outline in black. So it's still referencing um, its nearest parent element that has a font size set, which would still be the HTML tag or root. Um, right here I have a, a block that's just 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Uh, and those are absolute units, so, you know, I could change the root to, like, 50 or something like that. Um, and over here, this is still 200 pixels by 200 pixels. The font size changes, because that uh, is relative to the root, but the actual size of this box doesn't change. see. But, um, so I've only been talking about text size, but you can actually um, use M's to uh, set the size of other things too that don't have text, obviously. So I have this graphic right here. Um, and it's just uh, a container. Um, it's a div with a class of container, and I put uh, another div inside of it that contains, you know, eyes and a mouth, but basically that's what it is. And um, face and, uh, you know, the eyes and the mouth are all, uh, have their width and their height set with M. And so if I change the font size in uh, the container, in its parent container, then it actually changes the value of 1m. So right now 1m equals 10 pixels. And this is what? 10m wide. So this is 100 pixels right now. If I change that to 20 it's going to double in width and height. It's a little slow. There it is. I think that's pretty neat. You don't actually have to, you know, you don't have to go in and, and manually resize each eye and the mouth. It's a more complex graphic 
Um, you know, that would be a lot of work to do. And there are like a whole bunch of other ways to do that. You could use uh, transform scale, um, but you know, sometimes that can interfere with other things. Um, you know, there are a million ways to do things. This is not necessarily always going to be the best way to do things, but I still think it's really interesting. Um, another cool thing you can do is set this back to 10 pixels. Um, you can add like a hover, a hover state. So whenever I hover, yeah, thanks. Uh, whenever I hover over um, the container, uh, the font size will change to 20 pixels. If I put a, I'll put a transition on it. It's a little easier to figure out what's going on. Um, so it'll dub double in size over the course of one second when I hover over it. You can do that with like an active uh, state, something like that too. Um, another cool thing is you can set font size using viewport units. So if I set this to VW, which is a viewport width, um, it'll actually respond to the width of, let me take the transition off, it'll respond to the width of the window that it's in. So the smaller it gets, the smaller the window gets, the smaller the graphic gets, you know, if you make it bigger, um, the graphic gets bigger also. And um, if you don't know what uh, a viewport unit is, basically a one VW, okay, well, Um, so when you set something with VW, uh, viewport width, it looks at the width of this window right here, and it divides it into a hundred equal portions, and one of those portions equals one VW. So if you had, like, if I set this to, um, like, a hundred VW, if, if the width of this, if the width of this box was 100 VW, it would be um, the width of the window that it's in, basically. You can also also set things to uh, VH, which is viewer height, or V min or V max, which um, looks at the, the height and the width and chooses either the smaller or larger one. So in this case, the height would be uh, min because it's the smaller of the two. Um, if you if I set this to V max, it would be looking at the width because the width is um, larger than the height. Um, so, um, like I said, this isn't the only way to do this. Um, a lot of people use SVGs um, because they're easily scalable, but in some situations, uh, using other methods like these are preferable. Um, you know, like styling divs or other elements instead of uh, using SVGs. Um, it's sometimes better when you're doing some making something really simple. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, uh, leave a comment below. Um, hopefully, you found this interesting or useful. Um, I'll leave a link to my code pen so you can check out all of these if uh, you know if you want to. Thanks for watching.